Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day. So for today's reading, we'll be taking a look at when and how will your life change. And today we actually have four piles to choose from. So we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description box and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile then this is going to be your reading today about when and how will your life change. So pile number one for your card today you guys chose the beautiful key card as well as this lovely purple crystal. So this is going to be your pile and reading about when and how will your life change. Okay, so before I started recording your reading, I pulled out uh, one tarot card that will represent when will your life change. And then we'll get into the more details about how will your life change with your tarot cards and oracle cards. So let's see when will this happen for you guys. So pile number one, you guys have the full card. Oh wow, okay. I heard for you, the first thing that I heard is when you go for it, okay, when you finally do it. With the Fool, this is kind of honestly giving me even a little bit of like um, reckless energy or impulsive energy because the energy I'm getting for you, pal number one, is your life will change when you finally go for it, when you do something maybe out of the blue. Um, this is kind of giving me energy like you, for some of you, this can be also when you move somewhere, okay, with the Fool. Uh, when you finally move somewhere, your life will change. Or when you finally go and do this, like when you finally start that business or you finally pick up that hobby or you finally go for this option. That's kind of what I'm getting here for pile number one. Um, your life will change once you finally do something. And this thing might appear even a little bit, again, like reckless or maybe childish or impulsive, maybe to other people, maybe even to you. But you kind of have like this intuitive feeling like, I just know that when I move to this place, my life will change. Or I just know that when I start doing this as my job, my life will change. My happiness will change. Um, or once I leave this behind, my life will change. It's kind of that kind of feeling. Um, the key, the key is also telling me that you guys maybe already have the answer, or you already know the answer. You just haven't been taking action upon it. Maybe because you feel like it is a bit impulsive, or it is a bit like reckless, you know. Or maybe it's it's a big dream, right, to reach. Um, it might appear like that to you or to some people, but I'm hearing for you, once you finally go for it, your life will change. This is kind of telling me that the opportunity is already in your life, pile number one, okay? But you maybe haven't been acting upon it because of the key, again, is telling me that um, this is also very close, right? You also have the number 33, so it's telling me that change is close for you guys. The answer is within. Also, you have a lot of call of purple, so it could be psychics or it could be very intuitive. You could, again, already know what you need to do. That's kind of what I'm getting for you. So your life will change once you finally go for it. So that's what I have regarding your timing. That's very interesting. Let's see how will your life change once you finally go for it. Once you finally do this thing, you move, the, you move to this place or you maybe you put yourself out there. Let's see. For my lovely Palmer One universe, can you please let us know how will their life change? How will their life change once they finally go for it? Okay, you have five cards. Let's take these. So first you have the Two of Pentacles. The first thing I heard for you is, first of all, you're going to feel a lot more in harmony with your life. So that is the first change and how your life will change is that you will feel a lot more harmony and balance in your life. Yes, yeah, the Two of Cups, unity. So you will feel a lot more aligned, I'm seeing for you, pile number one. Alignment is a big thing for you. Ten of Pentacles, look at this, happiness, wealth. Yeah, it feels like your life will feel more aligned once you finally do this thing. The Emperor, you will feel in power and control of your life. Okay, I hope that the cards are focused so you can see them. And you guys also have the Six of Pentacles. Oh, I like your message. Okay. So once you finally go for it, because that's kind of what I'm getting here for your timing, 
I see that first of all, first of all, you will feel a lot more alignment and harmony in your life. So let's take the moving, for example, right? Once you finally move to this country, you will feel a lot more alignment and harmony in this place. You will feel unity in this place. You will maybe find your soulmate in this place, or you will just feel united maybe with the job that you want to change, right? So there is unity and there is alignment in this change. That's how your life will change. Your life will start to feel more united, more in harmony, more in alignment. The next thing I'm seeing for you is financial health. That's also something that I heard with the Ten of Pentacles. I see your finances doing really well in this change or in this move, um, in this resonance, right? Um, so you will feel a lot more financially abundant, a lot more financially fulfilled, I want to say. So this is kind of the thing of like, um, again, maybe you want to move to this new country and there's a lot more opportunities, a lot more financial opportunities for you in this place. Or uh, money just flows to you better in that country or that city or in that job, right? So um, I'm seeing a lot more financial health for you guys in this change. The Emperor and also the Six of Pentacles. So... I, f I see you guys feeling more empowered. I see you guys feeling like you have control over your life. Um, you will start to feel like you do actually control how your life plays out and not, or you, you have say. I, I, I think that's a better way to, to voice it. I feel that once you guys, this change will make you feel like you finally have a say in what's happening in your life and you don't have to rely on what comes to you but what comes out of you so i see your life being more the way that you guys want it to um in a sense or it's going to feel more resonating again it's going to feel in alignment right so of course you're going to feel like i have the life that i want and i have a say as to what's happening in my life six of pentacles this can mean two things like the first thing i'm seeing for you is you feeling like life is actually very generous that's the first thing i'm seeing for you, you will be in this state of like life is actually really it's a good place and this world is a good place i see you guys feeling in that kind of sense more grateful like your perception about the world and about life is going to change once you finally go for it you're gonna have this whole different image of the world and how it works and i see you guys feeling more like okay life is a good place like um the universe is actually very generous right it has a lot to offer it has so many opportunities that maybe before you weren't seeing so I see your eyes opening in that kind of sense, like you feeling more gifted, you guys feeling more rewarded from the universe, from life. And also with the Six of Pentacles, like you could have, I, I see that this is going to actually create a very drastic change in your finances to the point where you may even start to be like be able to donate or give to the less fortunate or maybe help out your family, help out your siblings, um, invest in some kind of like generous events situations in your life that's what i'm getting so this thing that you guys like have in your mind that you want to do but you i feel like you're also very close to it because kind of the fool represents you walking off the cliff so it, it does feel like you guys are very close to perhaps making the step or creating this change in your life so i feel the universe is just reassuring you today through this reading that if you pursue this path of maybe even a little bit of like recklessness right or riskiness um, you will actually start to feel a lot more aligned with your life. And I see you financially feeling a lot healthier, a lot more stable. I see you guys feeling like you have a say in your life, controlling your life. So it's a, it's a really good and positive change. We see that your life is changing truly for the better here. And you already know what you need to do. Again, with the key is showing me that you guys have the answer to this um, change. Let's get some oracle cards to further clarify. Universe, how will number one's life change? When and how? Can you please let us know when and how will number one's life change? You have the eternal light of love. So this is what I was saying with you guys feeling like life is a good place or like the world is a good place. So the eternal um, light of love is showing me that you guys will feel immense love from life immense light from light uh, from life and we see here this card also talks about a lot about divine timing or feeling like you're in divine presence feeling like you're like the world makes sense right that, like there is a divine energy in the world we also have the third eye here present so again it's, it's showing me that you guys know it feels like you're either predicting this or you're 
Uh, you already know what you need to do. You kind of have the vision already, but you haven't acted upon it. That's kind of what I'm getting from your side. Like you already know, you already have the, the image of how things are going to look and how everything is going to play out, but you haven't been taking the, I guess, the needed step. Maybe you're waiting on some timing, right, to make this move. Maybe you already plan to do it, but you kind of need to maybe, you know, allow some time for the move to actually come into place. So, um, it does feel like this is again going to show you guys how good life gets, how it is amazing to live, to be alive, right? To live this life. Because I feel that this change, the way that your life is going to change, it's going to show you the good side of life. That's what I'm getting. Like it's going to show you the good side of life. It's going to show you the abundance. It's going to show you the financial stability. It's going to show you your empowerment, your confidence, um, your kindness, your generosity, how kind can life be, right? That's kind of what I'm getting. It feels like life is going to show you its good sides. Let's see what else, Palm the One. How and when will your life change? Oh, look at this. You have the number 13. I might need to cover this image. Let me see how I'm going to make this. Okay, let's do it like this. But on your card, let's do it like this, okay? It says, Divine Feminine, step into your power. And you have the number 13, 33. So it feels like you're being called out to a rebirth, pile number one. Maybe some of you, you need to step more into your Divine Feminine energy. But in general, it says step into your power. So with the Emperor, it makes sense, right? The Emperor is all about power. It's all about feeling empowered. Uh, so once you step into your power, because it does feel like, you know, this fool, it's the action that you need to take in order to step into your power. And once you guys step into this power is when you guys will see your life change. Because you, you are restricting yourself in some kind of way. I mean, I feel that's apparent. I'm here that I'm seeing that from your cards. Um, because again, with the key, it feels like you have been sleeping on pursuing something or you haven't been fully embracing yourself. You haven't been fully stepping into your power, allowing yourself, trusting yourself to make this change. Again, like I'm getting like the example of like you finally move somewhere or you finally pursue this career or you finally pursue this person or this um, course or the school it's it's in that kind of sense of like you finally go for something which is going to put you in this state of like i'm very empowered you feel confident because you're pursuing something that resonates with you this is ultimately going to put your life into more alignment okay from the lovely poem number one how and when when th will their life change happy thoughts to feel happier right now think about memory or something else that makes you smile Okay, so think about moments in your life right now that made you smile. I'm sure that some of all of you can think of any situation or moment where you felt truly happy, where you felt like life was good and you got this maybe out of nowhere opportunity or you got this special moment with somebody. Think of those moments right now because I feel this is going to reassure you guys into taking this step. And perhaps it's going to, to let you know that the, the happiness, the key to happiness is always within you. Okay, so, so reflect on some happy moments I'm seeing. Keep your thoughts positive. Keep your thoughts happy. Some of you might be feeling sad and that's why the universe is giving you this message of like, if you want to feel happy right now, just think of some happy moments. Because this really, it, it triggers uh, a feeling of fulfillment in us, which then makes us act in a different way in a more positive way so i do feel act from a space of of love and not fear is what i'm hearing for you let's get your final card poem number one when and how will your life change when and how will poem number one's life change oh you got three cards okay let's take all of them oh four okay let's see you guys have protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Okay, yeah. So finally, maybe some of you finally want to go for that change in your career. And the universe is saying you are protected. You're safe when you make this change. Okay, beautiful. Artist engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and other areas of your life. It feels like maybe some of you, you want to change your career path towards something more artistic and the universe is saying, this is it. This is what you need to do. You already know, right? You already know what you need to do. You just have to go for it. So your life will change once you finally align yourself to 
uh, an artistic career path, which is something that you guys, I feel, re will resonate with. You also have infinite abundance. I was saying with the Ten of Pentacles, guys, this is going to give you infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your life purpose. You know, your life purpose is to be an artist, poem number one. It's very clear in your reading. I feel for most of you, this is what's going to resonate, that your life purpose is to be an artist. And once you guys align yourself to this career path, you will start to see infinite abundance coming in. You will start to feel more aligned with your life. You will start to feel happier with your life. So pursue something artistic. And your last card is Heart's Desire. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become your reality. Wow. I feel this couldn't get more perfect. Like, this really couldn't get more perfect. Again, you have protected. So, you, so it's just saying that you guys are protected when it comes to pursuing your life purpose and what your heart really wants to do when it comes to your job and your career. So I feel a lot of you... You want to be artists, right? You want to be maybe musicians, maybe writers, painters, designers, whatever it is. Um, but you haven't been doing it. You haven't been fully pursuing it. You haven't been going for it. And the universe is saying to you, if you want to be happy and you want your life to change, you will have to go for it. You will have to align yourself to your heart's desires. Um, because it's saying that your angels are supporting you into making your dreams a reality. So you guys already know, but you just kind of need to go for it is what I'm getting for you, poll number one. Such a lovely reading, and I hope that this message resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful poll number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading today about when and how will your life change. So for your card today, you guys have the child card right here, as well as the beautiful green moon crystal. Okay, lovely. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is I pulled a tarot card before I started recording your reading. And this is going to give us the time of when your life will change. And then we'll take a look at some more cards and oracle cards to see the details of how your life will change. So let's start with when it's going to happen for you. So again, you have the child card and you also have the king of wands. Oh, interesting. Okay. What I'm getting for you, pile number one, your life will change. I heard specifically, your life will change once you let your inner, inner child shine. Once you let your inner child express itself, uh, once you let it like take the spotlight. Uh, because this is, this can also come in the form of pursuing a childhood dream. It does feel like there has been a sense of suppressing of your inner child and your childhood self. And that keeps coming through here. You also have the number 13, which is about rebirth, you know, and new beginnings. So it does feel like, um, you know, stepping into that inner child energy, it's a rebirth within, within itself. Uh, because there is going to be a change into your identity, the change that, of how you feel and how you act. I see a lot of you with the King of Wands, you could be drawn to creative endeavors, you could be drawn to creativity, inspiration, uh, wanting to creatively express yourself in some kind of way, or wanting freedom in life, whether it's about your daily schedule, your work schedule, or your creative expressions. I feel that you're somebody who does like their freedom, and you do like to be able to express yourself, so I see your life will change once you finally stop suppressing your inner child. And for some of you, again, this will manifest in a way of pursuing your childhood dream or a dream that you've had since you were a child. I feel there is a need for you guys to connect more with your inner child and let it shine through. This is going to put you in a really great position of recognition, I feel, ball number two. So let's get your tarot cards and let's see how will your life change. I'm sure this is something that all of you want to know. So let's see from my lovely poll number two universe, can you please let us know how will their life change? For poll number two, how will their life change? Let me see. Okay, let's get one more. How will your life change? So we're starting off with the moon card for you. This is, I heard the word unknown with this card. I heard the word unknown. Let's see the rest of your cards. How is your life going to change? Oh, wow, the chariot. You're going to see some really big and fast progress. That's what I'm getting. It's like once you decide to make the change, guys, I'm hearing once you decide to trust the unknown and pursue, you're going to see immense progress, immense 
it, things are going to start to move really fast. That's what I heard for you. So with the chariot, I'm seeing like fast progress movement. That's what I'm getting. Like things are going to be going like as planned or they're going to go, they're go, they're going to go very smoothly. That's kind of what I'm getting. Six of swords. This talks about um, your life getting better, your life, your future looking bright. Um, look at this, the world card. Beginning of a new chapter. Interesting. And your last one is the three of pentacles. Oh, okay. I'm seeing here. So how will your life change once you decide to give attention to your to your inner child and let it shine? So first, this will require some trust from you guys is what I'm getting with the moon. This will require some trust in the unknown, some trust in the uncertain, uh, right? But once you actually decide to pursue this path, although right now to your current self, it might feel kind of unknown and like, I don't know what my, my steps are. But once you actually decide to pursue this, things will actually go like very fast. I'm kind of getting so you will start to see like really fast um, kind of incline or growth. Uh, like the best example I can give you to what I'm trying to say is like, I don't know, let's say you've always felt called to starting a YouTube channel and then you suddenly start it and your channel is going to start taking off like really fast or um, there is going to be progress and speed right away. Six of Swords is telling me that this is going to transition you guys to the new chapter of your life, which is actually going to be very positive, very bright. So we see that the number 13, it feels like you're ready to end a chapter of your life, right? So this is kind of going to mar mark an ending and a new beginning. You deciding to pursue your inner child is going to mark an ending of your old chapter and then it's going to start the new chapter of your life this is telling me this is going to be your new chapter is looking very bright so right now you, it does feel like you're in the transition because again with the number 13 it does feel like you're kind of in the middle right now you're kind of like um ready i want to say to pursue something like a childhood dream or listen more to your inner child pay more attention to your creative expression or what your soul is telling you to do it feels like you're right now in the middle and once you decide to cross right you're gonna open a new beginning in your life you're gonna open a new portal this could be also about travel for a lot of you okay travel can bring great tra transition for a lot of you i'm seeing that because the chariot you have the chariot which is about moving uh the ship here the world card represents again travel so uh, maybe this can mean like traveling to a place you've always wanted to go as well like this is really going to open your authenticity up i see like this change is going to also open you up to your authentic self like to your authentic truth who you actually are and you will find a lot of confidence and a lot of harmony in this new self of yours I feel that your life is also not just going to change from the outside, but also from within. There's a change within, a big change within. Maybe um, I feel that that is how your life will start to change by first triggering the change within, which is going to be about m focusing more on your, um, like acting from your authentic self and your, again, inner child. Your inner child can help you unlock your authentic self. So once you start to act from this position, you will actually start to see great progress in your life and things will start to move for the better. That's kind of what I'm getting with the six of swords. Like your life will feel like it's moving at a uh, at a good place. Things will be looking brighter. Things will be looking better for you is what I'm getting. Three of pentacles here. Uh, some of you, like I I'm seeing a team of people also working with you or you being able to find your tribe, especially when it comes to your career. So you're not going to be alone the entire time maybe you need to start alone that's something that i'm hearing for you maybe you do need to be alone in the beginning or trigger this change alone uh, but once you start to move more along this journey you will actually be able to find a great support of people who are going to help you especially around your career um, or around any project that you guys want to work on so when is your life going to change uh, when you start to connect more with your inner child and you let it shine and then how your life is going to change. I see this triggering more like really uh, immense progress in your life. Um, and things will feel like they're moving for the better. And you will sign it, uh, finally, sorry. And you will suddenly start to feel like you're getting the right opportunities. You're meeting the right people. So things are going to feel more in alignment in that kind of sense. Um, again, I see also some kind of changes about your location. Maybe that's something that you're planning to do. 
Let's see more for your palm number two. How is your life going to change? You have growing number 17, which is the start card. So there's a lot about putting yourself out there, like putting yourself in the spotlight. I'm seeing a lot about in your pile about putting yourself out there, right? So whether this is going to be putting your talent out on social media or seeing yourself in this big company, seeing yourself in this big school, right? It, it does feel like a stretch, but it seeing yourself in the spotlight, guys, see, try to do that. Try to envision yourself in the spotlight and where you want to be. I see you guys growing. How is your life going to change again? Growth, progress. So things are not going to be underground anymore. Things are not going to be stagnant. It feels like you guys were in the dark a lot in the past. Maybe you were, uh, you went through a period where you weren't seeing that much progress or everything felt so surface level, but I'm seeing a lot more growth. Once you accept your inner child, there's going to be a lot more growth, which is what I was saying with the chariot, right? About things moving faster, things progressing more. So... That is how your life will be changing. Let's see what else. How and when will Paul number two's life change, universe? Yes, movement. Inspiration is drawn to motion. So we see a lot about movement. So how will your life change is growth, movement, speed, progress, results, right? That's kind of what I'm getting. Like before things with the moon, before things, it felt like they were, maybe they were slow. Maybe they were stagnant. Maybe you weren't seeing any growth. Um you know, there was kind of like resistance I'm seeing, but now your life will change in the way where you see a lot of movement, right? There's movement could be also about your location. It's kind of like that energy when suddenly everything happens, like you finally get that moment of revelation and then suddenly everything starts to happen. Everything that didn't happen before, it starts to happen. Like you will see progress in your career. You will see opportunities to move to this place suddenly or pursue this path or your your talents your skills the opportunities keep coming your way that's what i'm getting you will start to see so much movement so much speed so much growth recognition Let's see what else Paul number two how is your life going to change okay got you guys have three cards here i will just take all of them for you so let's see how will your life change yeah, thankful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for. Beautiful. Decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. I feel what has been keeping some of you stuck is not being able to decide, right? Um, sometimes we can know in life what we want and where we where we want to go, but we're not making the decision, the decision to take the first step. So I see that is going to trigger this change for you guys. Finally deciding that this is the life you want to settle for you know, and you have true. Yes, what you're asking about is truth. Some of you are asking whether this is the right thing for you, right? Whether this dream of yours is the right thing, um, whether this vision that you have for your future is the right thing or moving somewhere is the right thing. Yes, it's the truth. It's your authenticity. See, it feels like your, your inner child, your authentic self is wanting to com communicate with you, but you guys are questioning whether it's true, whether it's for you whether you're meant for it but the universe is saying yes and once you make the decisions once you accept this truth you, you will see your life start to shift in a very fast pace and you'll be very thankful you'll feel very grateful for your life you'll feel very happy and fulfilled with life so i feel that your life will change again once you put your inner child in the spotlight once you accept the truth once you decide because you have been kind of sleeping on something I'm seeing here. Okay, let's get your final card to see. What is your last message here? How and when will call number two's life change, spirit? Let's take a look. You guys have yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. Maybe some of you need more exercise. Maybe you need more yoga. Maybe you need more stretching this can do really well for your body guys really well in taking care of yourself and and your mind's health so some of you maybe this is something that you should do maybe move your body more uh, exercise more dance more um, be more in nature be more in peaceful energy i feel this is really going to you know and on the bottom of the deck you have heart's desires the angels are supporting guiding and protecting you as your dreams become 
uh, reality. The reason why this card came out for you is I feel because you guys need some time of a moment of grounding in order to better connect with your inner self and your childhood self. Because I feel that's something that you guys have been not paying a lot of attention to. And this is where your heart's desires lie in your inner child and the person within you. So let that person shine through because I feel they're going to trigger you into pursuing something, taking action. And don't worry if you have to, have to start alone. Again, you will find your tribe at the end. And this new journey is going to bring in a lot of growth, a lot of movement for you guys. That's something that I'm seeing here for you. So I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about when and how will your life change. So for your card today, you guys chose the beautiful book card right here, as well as this lovely rose quartz crystal. Okay, so what I did for you guys is before I started recording your reading, I pulled out some tarot cards and this is going to give us the timing of when your life will change. And then we'll take a look at some more cards and oracle cards to get the details of how your life will change. So let's start with when will this happen? I'm sure many of you want to know this. So you actually got two cards for your timing. So let's see, you have the book card and let's see when will your life change. Okay, you have the Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, interesting. The first thing I heard for you, pal number three, is your life will change when you stop to block your heart's desires. Once you stop to, I'm kind of getting like, play it safe or be by the book. Like I feel maybe some of you, there's, there's this inner desire, there's this inner fulfillment that wants to shine through, but you keep blocking it maybe because of wanting to protect yourself keep yourself safe maybe because of logic as well i'm seeing with the book um but i'm hearing once you let the book shine once you let the book open you will start to see the transformation the change actually what, where the change lies because we see the but a lot of butterflies around this book which is indicating you have the wisdom to create this change you have the inner knowledge to create this change but some of you you have been blocking some kind of, I feel this is either like maybe love, you have been blocking love or you have been blocking your heart's desires. Um, I, I think that this is coming from within though. That's what I'm feeling for most of you. Like you have been blocking your heart's desires to keep yourself safe. And this is why maybe you haven't been seeing changes in your life. Let's see your tarot cards and let's see how will your life change once you guys... Uh, it feels like you need to listen to your heart, like listen to your heart's desires. That's what I'm hearing for you. Listen to your soul's desires. Step out of your comfort zone. It's within. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. It's within, but you guys are protecting it. You're blocking it because of safety of protection. That's kind of what I'm getting. So let's see how will your life change once you start to listen to your heart desire more. For my lovely poll number three universe, can you please let us know how will their life change once they start to listen to their heart's desire? Wow. Okay. How will your life change? The first thing I heard for you is you will find yourself. So the temperance, you will find yourself. You will feel in alignment with yourself. This is going to take some practice, poll number three, for you because I feel that some of you, you maybe have a hard time trusting yourself you have a hard time with trusting your heart's desires it's going to take some practice but what's going to bring this um for you it's going to bring i'm hearing yourself it's going to bring in more alignment with, with yourself your authentic self it's also going to bring in so much recognition and stardom fame okay you being recognized you shining you um I'm kind of getting being the center of attention or shining in your own light. So once you start to listen to your heart's desires, this will put you guys in a position of recognition. I, I see that you have some talents or something that if you were to express this to the world, it will put you in a great position of recognition and success. I'm hearing pursue what your heart wants you to do. Pursue what you actually want to do because you will find a way to make it happen. And I see that through practice and through knowledge, through learning, you guys are going to be able to 
outstand or outshine some of you might be feeling like you're not good enough and that's what that's your limit right it feels like okay well there's other people who are better than me so it's not worth it to put myself out there i feel there is some kind of insecurity within you that's preventing you from pursuing more or doing more and that's something that's you kind of need to figure that out right in order to put yourself in this position you also have the king of swords Okay, I like, yeah, you guys are going to have so much more respect. How will your life change? I'm seeing you having so much more respect and recognition. Especially when it comes to, because with the King of Swords, I'm seeing this like you being in a position of authority. Like people won't dare to walk over you again or speak down on you or talk behind your back or belittle you. They They won't have the courage to do so because of the... The recognition that you have because of the reputation that you guys will build for yourself that's how your life will change you will start to shine to that point where people just cannot even talk bad about you anymore because there is nothing to talk about you know that's kind of what i'm getting um five of pentacles okay and you also have again king of cups so look at this it's like this is the cup that wants to come out of you and when you decide to let it come out You'll become the king of cups. You'll become the one who is actually obtaining your heart's desire. Because it feels like right now your heart's desire is within you. And once you let it come out, you'll be able to hold it. It will be present in your reality. So stop restricting yourself. Stop limiting yourself. Stop um, Stop maybe telling yourself, this is how far I can go. Or I'm. it's not realistic. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting. Some of you are living too much by the book. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like you're living, you you're living too much by the facts. By although you know that's also important, so that we stay grounded in our reality. But sometimes, if we do it too much, we create a limit around us. We create a little bubble where we feel safe. We feel like we're in our comfort zone, and it prevents us from expanding because that's what our what's you know if we leave live too much by the facts, you're gonna know just about limits right you're you're not living space for magic for faith that's why i have the five of pentacles because i feel that um as you let your heart's desires play out you're gonna see great return and recognition and um authority and it's going to teach you a lot about faith about prayer maybe about um religion or divine right whatever you work with spirituality whatever your path in uh, spirituality is it's going to prove you that it's real it's going to prove you that you can't just live life based on facts and based on what you know and what you can read about in the book you have to leave some space for trust you have to leave some space for you know god or the divine because that way that's how you will live your fullest potential because as long as you live by the facts you will only put a limit to yourself and i see that the way your life will change it will also be in the way of spiritual awakening or religion or awakening up to religion up, uh, up to faith okay some of you maybe you don't have such a so, such strong faith right now but i see that changing for you king of clubs i also see you becoming more compassionate it's interesting because you have the king of swords and king of cups i see i see something about your reputation changing like you're going to become a lot more reputable i think that's a big part of how your life will change people will start to treat you differently people will start to look at you and recognize you differently you will have a sense of authority but also the sense of um it, it feels like you'll be known for somebody who's very kind and compassionate but also stands their ground so it's like you're finding the perfect balance between that that's amazing let's see what else poll number two how is how and when will your life change you have higher thoughts so higher thoughts this is all about climbing up to faith it's all about having you know focusing more on faith focusing more on prayer and you have liberation okay you have the uh, seven of wands which again it's about restriction it's about protecting yourself barriers right um so that how will your life change you'll feel more freedom i feel that as you guys turn to more faith and as you turn like once you start to because it feels like right now what's preventing you from maybe 
putting yourself out there or stepping out of your comfort zone is your limits or the facts or what you read about like you know this is so much you can do and this is how much how far you can go maybe that's what you you've known your entire life and I see that that's putting a restriction of you reaching a higher potential of yourself. So once you turn yourself more towards faith, towards trust and spirituality or religion, once you start to have more higher thoughts, you will be liberated by the limits. I see more liberation. In your future, there is more, uh, more freedom, more liberation. For some of you, this can be also, you know, liberating yourself from a situation, maybe a relationship, um, a job, whatever it is. Um being freed from that situation as well as something that i'm seeing overall you guys are going to feel more satisfied with your life though here with the king of cups let's get some more cards for you guys let's see for my lovely pole number three universe how is their life going to change and when how is their life going to change and when vision get clear on what you want you guys are you're not deciding that's the thing like you're not i'm seeing that you're not deciding and that's what's keeping you stuck. That's what's keeping... It's like you're in... You're still in the in the state of like making a decision to finally go for it or decide what you want. Journal out what you want, right? I'm kind of getting with the book. Like write on a piece of paper exactly how you want your life to look like. I feel that's going to help you to get clear about your vision and where you guys are headed. There's a lot about that you're going to have to rely on faith and trust. I am getting with that uh, that energy with you. It's like you're going to have to kind of trust the unknown if you want to change your life and get out of the limits. How and when will your life change? Pile number three. Let's see. So, you guys have two cards again. Talk about your feelings. Tell a friend how you feel. And you also have practice. I was saying something about practice for you. The best way to... Be good at, at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. So, you know, this journey is going to require some practice from your side and it's going to require some getting used to, right? Whether, whether this is going to be practicing this new way of thinking, uh, practicing your new faith, your new trust, or it's a skill that you guys, it's a talent that you want to practice. With practice, you can improve. And I feel that some of you, maybe there is a person right now who you can talk to. Um, it can be a littler person or it can be your angels. It can be God. It can be, it feels like the spirituality is calling you towards it. It feels like faith is calling you towards it. So um, if you feel like there is no, nobody who you can talk to about this in your life, you can always talk about it, you know, to whatever your spiritual source is. That's why you guys need it. That's why I feel that what's changing in your life is also going to be your faith your strength when it comes to faith because some of you are I, I feel you're maybe those type of people who maybe you think that you don't need anybody in order to succeed and you know it's it's okay to be independent uh but i feel that that's how you're limiting yourself into being too factual into being too literal in a sense I'm hearing make space for faith, like have more faith. That's what I'm hearing for you guys. Let's get your last card to end your reading. How is your life going to change and when? Pile number three. You keep getting two cards. Wow, look at this. Two, two, two. Let's see. Oh, look at this music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Oh, and again, you have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Some of you, you're being called to practice your musical skills or your artistic skills, right? Again, we have this person here. Feels like they're dancing, they're playing an instrument. So if some of you have been feeling called to dancing or to music in specific, um, the universe is saying practice the skills, polish the skills because when you pursue this, you will give healing energy to yourself and to others. I'm not surprised with the star card because I mentioned there is fame also in the cards for you guys. So I see that, you know, you still need to practice. You still need to learn, but don't lose hope because of that. That's what I'm getting. Like, if you guys decide to really put your food down, like you decide that this is what you want. You want this music career or whatever. For most of you, it's going to be music. For some of you, it's going to be some other skill that you want to practice. Uh, but I'm just going to refer to music because it's here in the card. So once you guys decide that this is the skill, this is the talent I want to pursue, and you commit to yourself to it, you practice it, you will shine. You will shine because of this, and you will be in a place of authority 
and knownness because of this. But along the process, you will have to practice and also trust your faith and trust that it will happen. And this is all leading you towards your best. So stop limiting yourself when it comes to your heart's desires is what I'm getting for your poll number three. That's what I have for your reading today. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful poll number four. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about when and how will your life change. So for your card today, you guys have the letter card right here, as well as this gorgeous heart crystal. So that's your pile for today. And what I did for you guys before I started recording your reading is I took some tarot cards and this is going to give us the timing of when your life will change. And then we'll take a look at some more tarot cards and oracle cards to see how your life will change. So let's begin with when it's going to happen for you guys. And let's see, when will your life change? Poem number four. So for your cards, you have the Ace of Pentacles and you also have the Four of Swords. Okay, the message I got for you guys, your life will change is, is when, when you take some time to reflect and rest. This is going to lead to some breakthrough idea. Uh, specifically, I'm seeing about your career. Um, or your career path or your life in general, like your life path in general. Some of you are feeling a bit lost and confused at the moment. I'm seeing that once you take some proper time to maybe step down from the situation, like take a step back, reflect on it, rest, sleep on an idea or something like that. This is go like, I feel that you need to give your mind some kind of rest. And this is going to give you the space to come up with like a breakthrough idea. This is going to lead to a breakthrough or to a really good idea on how to pursue moving forward, which is going to create a change in your life. So when is when is this going to happen, Palm number four? Once you take some time to reflect, take some time to rest, okay? Take a step back, maybe sleep more. Some of you haven't been really sleeping enough. Uh, this is going to give you the breakthrough idea that you need what else let's see how your life will change and how this action will affect your future so for my lovely poem number four spirit how will their life change how will their life wow oh my god how will their life change pile number four can you please let us know how okay so i'm seeing something really good right here um First of all, you have the Three of Swords and then the Nine of Cups. So this is like a drastic change, drastic difference. I see the, the best, the more most blatant way, sorry, I can put this, is your life is going to go from sadness to fulfillment, from lacking to having, from uh, maybe feeling depressed for some of you to feeling ultimate fulfillment and happiness. So this is how your life is going to change. Um, definitely, you guys, I feel you need to step back because you have been too much in your feelings, okay? Uh, Three of Swords is showing me in the current present. Right now, you have you have been invested too much maybe in this past disappointments, what didn't work out in the past, maybe your past decisions, past actions, um, or you. some of you are feeling a bit depressed or a, few, a bit down. So I see that the way your life is going to change is you're going to go from a lack to fulfillment. That's a very drastic change. All you need is just a moment of reflection. That's what I'm hearing for you. All you need is just a moment of, of reflection. Some of you, it, it doesn't have to be, again, with the Three of Swords, it doesn't always have to be so extreme, right? With feeling depressed or feeling so hurt. Some of you could be just feeling a bit stuck in the current present moment. Like, you could be feeling like, I don't know, like, I feel sad every day. I kind of feel stuck. Um, you need, like, a moment of um, reflection to come to some kind of conclusion. King of Cups, this is all about love. It's all about compassion, emotional fulfillment. Again, with the uh, Nine of Cups before that, I see that this is going to bring in more happiness, more fulfillment for you guys. Six of Swords, moving on to the better, right? Oh, your future is looking bright. That's amazing. And your last card is the Temperance. I see you're going to find so much more peace. So much more harmony in your life. If there is this harmony right now in your life, if there is this feeling of uncertainty and uh, lack of balance, take uh, take some time to rest. You have the time to rest. That's something that I'm hearing also for you. Like some of you might be feeling like, I don't have time to rest right now, right? I have my problems that I need to figure out. But 
in order to get to the solution to maybe what your problems are currently or what's causing you to feel um, not fulfilled and sad, you do need to take a step back. You do need some time to basically the reason why we need to take a step back when we are too much uh, immersed into our emotions is because we do not think from an objective perspective in that in that current moment. So I feel that once you start to have more objective, once you have to, once you start, sorry, to have a more objective uh, perception of your situation, you'll be able to figure it out. Because I actually feel that your situation can be solved really easily like there's a solution to your problem is what i'm getting with the ace of pentacles there's actually a very practical solution so this is not something that i don't know you maybe have to like pray for or something that needs to fall from the sky right uh, it feels like what the solution to your current situation is very practical is very material in the world is very present um so like, like i'm getting it, it's it's not lack there is not a lack of it in the world um, the solution to your problem. So once you're able to kind of like get some rest and be able to think of a more objective point of view, you will actually come to the conclusion. You will come to a breakthrough idea and this will lead to great change. This is how your life is going to change. Uh, you will start to feel so much better, first of all, so much happier, so much more fulfilled. You won't be, you won't be feeling sad anymore. There's so much love around you I'm seeing in the future. And there's so much brightness as well. Six of Swords, this is about moving towards the better. So you're going to leave this hurt behind. Once you have this breakthrough idea, you will leave the hurt. You will feel the disappointments in the past. And it's important because you will also learn from this situation. So whatever you're currently going through, there's something that you can learn from this that you can take with you in the future in order to not repeat it again or uh, to use it in the in the future as to your advantage that's something that's really powerful is to realize that in every situation there is something that needs to be learned there is a lesson and if you guys are able to learn your lessons from this current situation it's not going to happen again and you will have and you know you can carry it with you in the future so i'm seeing that for you definitely a lot of a lot of positive changes as long as you take a step back and you think that's what i'm getting Let's see, what else? How is your life going to change, pile number four? Health. Okay, I see you guys definitely feeling so much better. So maybe um, I see your health improving, but this can be also mental health. That's uh, kind of why maybe I was picking up that some of you might be feeling a bit depressed right now, or you might be feeling like really sad. That can always affect our health, right? Um, our mood can affect our health, the way that we feel. Um, so... I'm seeing health-wise, your health will be improving in the future. That's how your life is going to change. Your health will be improving. I see you guys glowing. I see you guys looking better. Some of you, your skin is going to improve. It's going to have a lot of glow to it. It feels like some situations have been causing you to not take good care of yourself. And that's maybe not also making you feel your best. So really take some I, I keep hearing for you guys take some time to rest because this is when your life will change once you take some time to rest once you take a step back from the situation even if it's just three to four days you have the time to do so because if you keep avoiding taking a break you're just going to go deeper and deeper into it once you come to a point where you need to take a month or two months off of something right so i feel that you're still kind of in that space where you can just take a couple of days to pull yourself back because you need this uh this rest to come to the idea because your solution already exists okay that's something i'm here for you your solution already exists let's see how will your life change Pile number four and when you have the sun find balance beautiful so we see in the future the sun is in your future again the sun here with the six of swords temperance is all about balance so we see how is your life going to change more positivity more balance that's what's going to bring in happiness for you is what i'm seeing and you also have cali step into unknown do not be afraid yeah don't let fear hold you back don't be afraid to take a break don't be afraid again to 
do something. There is some kind of fear, maybe it's fear from the past, disappointment from the past that's holding you back from the sun, from the balance. But again, I feel like what you're seeking already exists. Or there's a very practical solution to it. So don't worry, guys. That's something that, first of all, you need to hear is don't worry. And, you know, just, just really try your best to take a step back from the situation. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to really give you a different perspective of how everything is. Once you stop thinking about it for a couple of days or focusing on it. And it's going to lead to solutions. How is your life going to change? Pile number four. Happy thoughts. Do you feel happy right now? Think about memory or something else that makes you happy. Oh my God, the universe really wants to urge you guys to... And also you have healer on the bottom of the deck. So you have health and healer, okay? I feel there is something about happy thoughts that, are, that can help you heal yourself at the moment. Because some of you with the, six, with the three of swords is telling me that you feel hurt right now. And this can be, again, from so many things. So for everybody, it's going to be different. But in order to feel better, try to think happy and positive thoughts. The universe is really wanting to kind of communicate to you to focus more on positivity, focus more on the good. Again, I see healing in your future. That's how your life is going to change. You guys are going to feel happy. You're going to feel fulfilled. But you need to take this step back. Let's see what else. Palm number four. How is your life going to change and when, universe? Do you have any last messages for palm number four on how and when will their life change? Infinite abundance. Maybe some of you feel like you lack material things. Maybe you lack money in your life, but there's so much money in the world, right? So it already exists, but what you want already exists, okay? You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Yeah, you're supported. When it, this one also came out for palm number one as well. Again, energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So for some of you, maybe you want to pursue something that has to do with healing. And this is where your abundance lies. For others of you, there's so much about, you know, maybe you are a healer. Again, here it says you have the power to help and heal others. Maybe you want to do Reiki healing. Maybe you want to pursue a career that's in the medical field maybe you want to be a psychiatrist or something like that that will help people deal with their emotions as well um but it does feel like there's something about health and healing here in your reading um so it's just kind of seeing if you want to pursue a path that has to do with healing that has to do with health or medicine this is the right purpose for you guys but for others of you you need to be aware that there is healing energy around your situation and that you can always heal yourself from something. You can always do it. I know it, it might seem and sound hard in the moment if you're feeling like that, but you can always do it. That's what I have here for you, palm number four. So I'm seeing that your future will change. Again, let's um, kind of conclude your reading. Your life will change once you guys take a step back because this will allow you to come to a conclusion or to a solution to your current situation. And the way that your life will change is you will feel like your life is starting to shift in a more positive way. More sun coming in, more balance coming in, more love, compassion. I'm seeing wish fulfillment, your health improving. Overall, your happiness, the state of your mental health is going to become healthier. That's what I have for you today, Paul number four. Very lovely reading and I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!